Janet had a double mastectomy for breast cancer in 2004, but a few years later, the cancer came back. And it was the same breast cancer in the same breast. Even after mastectomy, I was completely taken by surprise and utterly shocked. Janet faced an uncertain future. Her cancer was now stage four. It had spread to her bones. But researchers at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center had begun a clinical trial of a new breast cancer drug called Palbocyclob for patients with Janet's form of breast cancer, estrogen receptor positive, responsible for some 60% of breast cancer cases. One of the hallmarks of cancer as a disease is that cancer cells uh, grow in an uncontrolled manner. The idea behind a drug like palbociclib is to block that uncontrolled cell growth. Palbociclib targets a family of proteins, interrupting the way cancer cells divide and multiply. Janet and other cancer patients in the study were given palbociclib along with a standard anti-estrogen treatment called letrozole. What we saw was that the progression-free survival, which is the time that a woman goes on to the study drug until her disease progressed, was essentially doubled. Prompting the FDA to fast-track approval of the drug for patients with advanced disease. Uh, it was a very aggressive move by the FDA to approve a drug on phase two data, but it shows their commitment to getting drugs that look very active to patients as soon as possible. To be a stage four cancer patient and not be faced with radiation and chemotherapy and all the debilitation that goes along with it was life-altering. The brand name of the new drug is called Ibrance. More than 80% in the study benefited. Janet has been taking two pills a day for the past six years. Palbociclib, which is now known as Ibrance, has given me the opportunity to attend one of my daughter's graduation from, from law school. Another one graduated with her MBA. My mother celebrated her 90th birthday. I got to enjoy the last few years of my dad's life. Um, things you cannot measure. For Janet especially, she's on drug now close to six years, tolerating it very well and her disease is very well controlled. So. Uh, a great example, the poster child for what we want to do for patients here at UCLA.